So one of the things that you might be asked to do uh, in using the, in applying the Pythagorean identity, and later we'll talk about how you can do this on the unit circle, but we're going to talk about it first by using this Pythagorean identity. Okay, and that is, if I give you this problem here, okay, if you wanted to find uh, what is the sine of theta if the cosine of theta is 11 over 21, okay, and then they gave you the additional information that the angle is in the fourth quadrant. Well, one, you could set this up and you could uh, treat it as a right triangle and solve it, and that's fine. But what I want to do is show you that you can also use this trig identity to solve. Okay? And so the first thing that you would do is you would uh, set up the Pythagorean identity. Okay? So you'd look at it as cosine theta plus sine squared, or so, or sorry, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals one. If you substitute in 11 over 21, for cosine, and then you want to solve solve for sine. Okay, what you're going to do here is you're going to subtract, or again, you can square this out. So you get 121 over, and I'm just going to leave this as 21 squared. You can write it out uh, if you want, but I'm going to leave it as it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, write my one as a fraction using that same denominator. So I'm actually am going to write this out or expand this out. Okay, so I'm gonna find uh, 21 squared is 441. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace these with 441 and one is 441 over one or 441 over itself. And so if I subtract 121 from both sides, or 121 over 441 from both sides, I get sine squared theta is equal to, and I can combine my terms here. When I combine my terms, I get uh, 441 minus 121 is 320 over 441. And then I'm gonna extract the square root. Remember when you extract the square root, you have to take into consideration that this might be positive, it might be negative. The way that you determine whether it's positive or negative is you use the information that's provided here. Okay, so when I solve this, sine theta is equal to, again, it's either going to be plus or minus the square root of 320 over, I knew that the square root of 441 is going to go back to the 21. You can look for any perfect square factors that you can remove from 320. Uh, you can build it um, from the ground up if you don't have the calculator, but here we're going to use just our calculator. We'll take square root of 320. We get 8 root 5. So 8 root 5 over 21 is our sign. And now it's either going to be positive or negative. The way that we can determine whether it is positive or negative is if we use this information. If theta is in the fourth quadrant, so down here, is our sign value positive or negative? Sine is the y, and the y in this quadrant is negative. So our answer is going to be negative 8 root 5 over 21. Okay, and that would be your answer. You're writing it as a reduced radical, so this is the form that you need to enter it in. It's not the decimal form. Right, I want you to try the same thing with this second problem. Okay, see if you can identify what the cosine theta would be if theta is in the second quadrant. Now here, since I know I'm solving for cosine and it's in the second quadrant, so first what I can do is see in this quadrant right here, quadrant two, is my cosine positive or negative? My cosine is my x? Negative, right? So I know my answer is gonna be negative. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna find, using Pythagorean identity, I wanna find that solution. And so uh, if I'm looking for cosine, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this in that alternate form. So instead of writing cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1, I'm going to write cosine squared is equal to 1 minus sine squared. And then I'm going to plug in what I know. Okay, so my cosine squared theta is equal to 1 minus, and sine is 3 over 4. So I'm going to square that value. So uh, 4 is 16. 
four squared is 16, so I'm subtracting nine over 16, which means I'm gonna express my one in terms of 16. And so I get 16 minus nine, which is seven over 16, is equal to cosine squared. Extract my square root, and I get cosine, or cosine theta is equal to plus or minus root seven over the square root of 16, which is four. So I know my answer is gonna be the negative of this, so negative root seven over four, and that gives me my solution.